Q&A. Back in the days when you still watched it, you may recall the on-screen tweets. Always annoyingly in the way whenever guests fall over, and annoyingly not in the way whenever Jared Henderson's talking. Broken down, there's only three types of tweets that ever make it onto Q&A. The first type is praise. Praise about the panel lineup, praise about Tony's questions, praise from Tony about Tony's questions. Next up, puns. Without exception, these always involve some kind of tortured pun on the phrase stop the boats. And finally, it's blah blah for PM. Where the week's least objectionable panellist gets championed to be our next Prime Minister. Or our next host of PM, it's not really clear. Oh, and there's a fourth type too. People watching Can of Worms who've just used the wrong hashtag. <laughs> but who actually writes the tweets on Q&A? Well, in a world exclusive, the hamster wheel will tonight uncover one of television's darkest secrets. In a TV first, we'll be taking a camera crew beyond this ominous doorway. But be warned, what you're about to see could shock you. <laughs> this is the Twitter sweatshop that Q&A doesn't want you to know about. Foreign child labour, many of them as young as 12, spend up to 15 hours a day composing the inane tweets that appear on Q&A. Well, I'm going to say that the tweets are hard. It's a hard problem. I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say that. They have no breaks, no sunlight, and are forced to work alongside needy comedians and Triple J presenters who still voluntarily tweet for the programme. I'm not going to say anything. This is Parmesh, who's been manufacturing tweets on the boat people issue for Q&A since he was just seven. A standard day involves having to tweet there is no Q over and over until his hands can no longer take it. When we approached Tony Jones for a comment, he refused to answer our questions. Tony Jones, why are you answer my questions? So I decided to re-ask my question in a form he's more accustomed to. Our next question is a video. It's from Chris Taylor. Tony, why are you using child labour sweatshops to produce all your tweets? <laughs> OK, we'll take that as a comment. <laughs> if you're shocked by what you've seen tonight, then you can make a stand. During Monday's Q&A, join the Twitter conversation using the hashtag shame, quanda shame. <laughs> or if you must, Parmesh for PM. <laughs> Even if we can't stop the boats, we can stop the tweets. <laughs>